First, I want to thank the Y for recognizing me with their Young Leader to Watch Award. It is truly an honor. I also must thank Cheryl Robertson for nominating me. She is an amazing volunteer and a former Red Triangle recipient herself. Finally, I must thank my partner of 13 years, Jason, who must often wonder where I'm at. His support over the years has been unwavering. I'm hopeful my personal story tonight can inspire more people to get involved in their community. People often ask me why I'm so involved in the community, and there are really two parts to the answer. First, my upbringing in Prince Edward Island has definitely shaped who I am today. I have to thank my wonderful and supportive family for that. They've always instilled in me that helping others and treating everyone as equals is a principle to live by. Just a few quick examples. One is my grandmother who passed last year who often quoted the expression that we all know so well, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. My dad, a retired lineman, spent many holidays away from home helping other people get their power so they could enjoy their holidays. And of course my mom, who while visiting my grandmother in the hospital many times, would bring home other patients' laundry and then bring in food to those same people. The second part as to why I got involved includes a more defining moment. Shortly after coming to St. John, in fact it was my dad's birthday in 2001, I was assaulted uptown after exiting a gay bar with friends. It was very clear that the assault was related to who I am as a person and this had a great impact on me. I reflected on it throughout the emergency plastic surgery and the lengthy court proceedings. In fact, I remember writing the victim impact statement for the court and very clearly stating that I could not understand how people could treat other people differently just because of who they are. From this point forward, I vowed to help make difference in the lives of marginalized groups. I think it is important that we all do our part to ensure that everyone is treated equally. In reality, we could all just be one life event away from being marginalized ourselves. This is where volunteerism is important, where people can get involved and make a difference. There are many people that are still marginalized and discriminated against in society today. Just a small list could include people living in poverty, young teen moms, immigrants, people with disabilities, those of different sexual identities, those in abusive relationships, drug addicts and sex trade workers, and those living in fear and being bullied for simply who they are. And unfortunately, the list could go on. I regularly think about these individuals and try to get involved with organizations and activities that benefit these groups. I have received the occasional piece of hate mail and lost the occasional friend due to differing principles. But I keep giving because this is something I can do. It is something we can all do. I've always strived to make our world a better place for people who may not be as fortunate as I have been. I sponsor a child in Uganda. I spend time with my little brother. I serve with a multitude of community groups who do excellent work. I help to start new groups. I simply try to help others. I must recognize the many excellent not-for-profit organizations we have in this community, which allow people to volunteer. In my short time on this planet, I've been blessed with love and happiness, and I only hope that I can help others to experience that same quality of life in their short time on this planet. After all, we're all human, and we all deserve that same experience in this world. If we could all forget our differences, then the world would be a better place. I've always said that if I only impact one person, then I've made a difference. Volunteerism is important because we can all make that difference. One of my favorite quotes, and many people have probably seen this at the bottom of my email for the last 10 years, is by Robert F. Kennedy. It goes like this. Each time an individual stands up for an ideal, or acts to improve the lot of others, or strikes out against injustice, they send forth a tiny ripple of hope, and crossing each other from a million different centers of energy and daring, those ripples build a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and injustice. Finally, I'm very happy that tonight's funds are going to the Wise Strong Kids program, because I think this program is well aligned with the message I just shared. One of the alarming trends I see in this country is the rising inequality of income. Strong Kids, as well as Pro Kids, the Boys and Girls Club, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, just to name a few, are vital organizations within our community because they help to develop stronger kids, thus building the leaders of tomorrow by leveling the playing field. In the long term, this creates better citizens that help, will help each other and their community, and this is an investment we must make. I hope you will all go home tonight and reflect upon my message. Hopefully it will inspire you to get more involved in your community or give more dollars to our community so we can continue to level the playing field and create equal opportunity for all. Thank you.